John and his friends arrived at the cabin in the woods, excited for a weekend of fun. They had been planning this trip for months and were ready to relax and let loose. As they began to settle in, Jane noticed something strange. There didn't seem to be any other cabins nearby. In fact, it seemed like they were the only people for miles. Bob, who was always up for a good time, suggested they go exploring. So, they grabbed their flashlights and set off into the woods. As they walked, Karen started to get a weird feeling. She had the feeling that someone was watching them. But when she looked around, she saw nothing but trees. Suddenly, they heard a noise. It sounded like something was following them. They began to run, but it was too late. The killer had found them. The killer caught up to the group and began picking them off one by one. John was the first to die, followed by Jane. Bob was able to get away for a little while, but the killer eventually caught up to him and killed him too. Bill and Karen were the next to die. They had been hiding in the cabin, but the killer found them and killed them both. That left only Steve. He was the one who had been joking around earlier. But now, he was the only one left alive. The killer chased Steve through the woods, but Steve was able to outrun him. He made it back to the cabin and called the police. When the police arrived, they found the bodies of Steve's friends. They also found the killer, hiding in the woods. Steve was the only one who had survived. The killer was apprehended by the police and taken into custody. Steve was the only one who had survived the massacre. He was taken to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. The killer was later found to be a mentally unstable man who had been living in the woods near the cabin. He had no previous history of violence. The trial for the killer began. Steve was called to testify. He told the court about what had happened that day. The killer was found guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. Steve never forgot what happened that day. He had nightmares about it for years. But he was glad that the killer had been apprehended and was no longer a threat to society. The friends scatter and the killer gives chase. John, Jane, Bob, and Bill are all killed. Karen is the only one to survive. She is the only witness to what happened. The trial for the killer begins. Steve is called to testify. He tells the court about what had happened that day. The killer is found guilty and is sentenced to life in prison. Steve never forgot what happened that day. He had nightmares about it for years. But he was glad that the killer had been apprehended and was no longer a threat to society. Steve visits the graves of his friends every year on the anniversary of their deaths. He still thinks about them every day and misses them dearly. The killer was found and taken into custody. The trial for the killer began and Steve testified. The killer was found guilty and was sentenced to life in prison.